Welcome back, everyone. My name is Tune Dollars, Mr. Tune215. And we're out here in West Philly. We're gonna be doing a tour of the Walnut Hill neighborhood. Right now we're on Walnut Street. Walnut Hill is located in, like right next to the vicinity of University City. It's actually in the northwestern part of the University City District. Walnut Hill is bounded by 45th Street to 52nd Street and Market Street North to Spruce Street on the south. So we're facing west. So we haven't reached 45th Street yet. We're on 40th Street at 40th and Walnut Street, but I figured I'd at least start here because it's a small neighborhood. We got Panero Bread on my left. We got Acme on my right. We'll just zigzag through the neighborhood as usual. As always, if you have any knowledge, memories, information about the neighborhood that you want other viewers to know, feel free to comment that in the comment section. All right, we are passing 41st and Walnut Street. We are still not in the Walnut Hill neighborhood. We got the Homewood Suites Hilton on my right hand side. A UPS driver on my left. We're doing 21 miles an hour, but I'm kind of on a main street. We're passing 42 or we're passing the 4200 block of uh, Walnut Street, 42nd of Walnut. Now we're passing St. Mark's Square. I got people behind me, flying by me. I'm not trying to go that fast, but everybody's out. We got several markets on my right. We're passing 43rd and Walnut. We got University City Beverage on my left, a supermarket on my right. We're now approaching 44th Street, 44th and Walnut. You can see these buildings on my left hand side have balconies on every level. That's the Westwood Apartments. Two, three, four, five bedroom apartments available. We just passed Buckingham Place. All right, now we are in Walnut Hill. We're at 45th and Walnut. We have hardware store on my left hand side, Monarch Hardware Store, Hunter Gatherer Tattoo on my left, passing the 200 block of Melville Street. I still got a vehicle behind me. Everybody's going around me but the vehicle behind me i guess is extremely patient and not in a rush to go nowhere but i feel like i could be driving slower if they weren't directly behind me so i'm going to turn off right here on 46th street we got a sunoco gas station on my right hand side we got a bar and lounge on my right hand side you guys can take a look at the buildings take a look at the stylization of the neighborhood these three-story buildings are massive not only are they three-story but they have a attic which is almost like a fourth floor. I'm sorry, we're doing six miles an hour, but I have a vehicle behind me. The porches are awesome. They got side driveways. They got, you know, that stonework. Then they got brickwork. It looks like a classy neighborhood. We're at 46 and Locust Street. I'm gonna take this down to Spruce. I think we'll take it to the borderline and then we'll come up 45th and try to zigzag. We'll try to cover as much as we can within the one hour time limit that I allow for these tours. I'm sorry guys, I have to speed it up to 11 miles an hour because this Massachusetts vehicle behind me is impatient. We're at 46 and Spruce Street. I'm gonna make this left hand turn. We have a Penn Medicine office on my left hand side. We're next to the 42 bus stop. Speaking of Massachusetts, there's a Massachusetts Volkswagen Passat parked on the right hand side of the screen. Today is going to be 65 degrees, so it's very much like spring-like weather. T-shirt weather, I myself am wearing a t-shirt, so I'm enjoying it. I got my one window rolled down, getting some air, listening to a little bit of the ambience. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn because the Mazda is allowing me to turn. I'm gonna try to drive slow here so you guys can see the houses. There's nobody behind me yet. We're passing the 200 block of Melville Street. They're bricked houses, they're pretty big. They're full-size cubes. Like some of the ones in other parts of Philly, they go down like building blocks. Like the third floor is the smallest area. The second floor is the next biggest area. And the first floor is usually the longest area. But these seem to be like a complete rectangle. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn on 45th and Spruce. This is the borderline. Spruce is the border and 45th is the border. So we're starting on the edge of Walnut Hill. We got Power and Reynolds on my right-hand side and Don Bariza Mexican Bar and Grill. 
Spruce Hill Community Association. But you guys can see the woodwork over every awning, the woodwork over every window, the woodwork on the crown. We're at 45th and Locust. As you can see, we have ladies taking a little walk in the warm weather. We got a new tavern bar um, and Ethiopian American restaurant on my left hand side, passing international Shotokan Karate Federation, passing Philly Ala Food Market, and several other businesses Jezebel's Cafe and Bakery. We got Manakish Cafe uh, Bakery and Grill on my right hand side. We got rotisserie chicken and more. This seems to be, this is a stop sign right here. This is, let me allow this vehicle to go because he got a funeral. Go ahead, you got a funeral sticker, buddy. This is Saad's Allah Restaurant on my left hand side. All right, so it looks like they have a blinking yellow, we have a blinking red. So we're gonna treat this as a stop sign. Blinking red is a stop sign. Over there, they're supposed to be cautious. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> beep, beep. You're on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that was a little food cart on my right. We got Hadra Mount uh, Restaurant, or Hadra Mount Restaurant, not without, not with an N, Hadra Mount, not Mount. Uh, passing the 4500 block of Samson. We had a little playground on my left-hand side and a nice mural. We got a Domino's Pizza on my right-hand side. We're at 45th and Chestnut. Domino's is now hiring drivers for anybody who's interested in working for Domino's. We're gonna take this up to Market Street if we could. We're passing the 4500 block of Ludlow. We got some apartments on my left-hand side. We got some two-story homes on my right-hand side. And we are currently on Market Street. We got Caliber Collision on my right-hand side. We're gonna make this left. We got uh, the projects right there in front of us on Market Street. Now we're on the West Philly side of the Market Frankfurt line. So if you guys been with me on my channel before, you guys know I've walked this. You guys know that I've did, you know, a few driving tours, both narrated and not narrated under this avenue. We got a little encampment on my right hand side. There was uh, several individuals out there with tents sleeping, I guess, under this avenue. Let's make this left hand turn on 46th Street. I'm gonna approach with caution. But if you're familiar with the channel, then you know that I've been through here before, you know, so this year and other years. Passing 46 and Ludlow. So there's not much traffic behind me. I can kind of cruise a little bit slower. When there's traffic behind me, I gotta keep it going. We're doing nine miles per hour. Nine miles per hour. All right, we're at Chestnut. 46 and Chestnut. We got Mercy Life, West Philadelphia, living independent, independently for elders facility on my left-hand side. On my right-hand side, we have a Sunoco gas station, a food market with a car wash and auto detailing spot. On my side, which you guys can't see, but on the side of the street that I'm located on, right there across the street, you got the car wash, the auto detailers right there where the Sunoco's at. On my side, you got another car wash that's $4.67 plus tax. It's one of those drive-through car washes. That one over there looks like it's a drive-through also. The drive-throughs were cool when I was a kid growing up. You know, because you like the whole experience of going through it, you know, to experience it. But when I got older, I realized that they're not responsible for any damages on your vehicle. We got Maryland tags on my right and we got California tags on my right. Whoa, and we got Connecticut tags on my left. Yeah, so they're not responsible for any damages to your vehicle. Virginia tags on my right. Whoa, Rhode Island tags on my left. North Carolina tags on my right. Whoa, this is like, I'm hitting the lottery here. <laughs> We got a hair salon on my left hand side. We're at 46 and Samson. We got some new buildings on my right. U City Flats Apartments, leasing two to three bedroom apartments. These buildings on my right are new or, or more modern than majority of the buildings in the neighborhood. That one is for sale on my right hand side. It says for sale or for rent. Wow, 140. That's the address, guys. 140 46th Street. And I believe that would be South 46th Street. We got another Sunoco gas station right here. Whoa, why is there one gas station a block away from another? There's two Sunocos within like a block. That's the first. That's like having two McDonald's like right up the block from each other. 
that's how popping this neighborhood must be when it comes to traffic because to have two of the same identical business just a block away from each other is kind of like overkill right but they gotta be making that moolah they gotta be making that money to keep them both uh running we're passing 46 and walnut you guys can see these buildings on my left hand side oh we already went through 46 but you know what i'm gonna make a right eye at the corner you guys got a chance to peek out of this block briefly now since spruce makes a left i'm not gonna be able to go right on spruce so i'm gonna have to do some magic since we started on 46 it kind of threw us off a little bit but that's because 45th came down so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna go around right let me see we got this go ahead ma'am would you like to go yes ma'am ladies first cool hair she had green hair blue hair yellow hair <laughs> florida tags i'm all right all right these buildings on my right, they're not that well kept. One of them is being rehabilitated. Yeah, these looked a little bit more beat. We got, we're got we on Farragut, 200 block to my right. I'm gonna make this right on Farragut Street. Now y'all should have seen that block behind me. I should have just, just went around. OCD's telling me to go around. I'm sorry guys, my OCD. In order to keep this like a grid, the good thing about doing this neighborhood right here is that this neighborhood is actually, if you look at the outline, it's like a cube. So it's easy, it's like a square rectangular neighborhood. And then since it's in grid format, I can actually zigzag like how I normally like to do. Y'all know some of my tours, they be wacky, they be all over the place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this left right here. What's this, 47 sheet, 47 sheet go down, right? It better go down if not. Yeah, yeah, go down. I'm gonna go down 47th, I'm gonna come up Spruce, and then I'm gonna come up Farragut. And that sounds like a fair deal. Yeah, but that's the good thing about this little neighborhood. It's, it's more of just like, you know, a square, rectangle. No, it's more, it looks straight up like a square, but it doesn't have all these zigzags. We're turning on 47th and Locust. We have this school on my right hand side. I'm a lot of viewers to chime in, name that school. Name that school in the comment section. Share your knowledge. There's a schoolyard and everything on my right hand side. Let me know if you went to that school. We're at 47 from Spruce. Remember, Spruce is the border. So we're gonna make this left hand turn on Spruce Street. Check out those homes in the corner on my left hand side. You can see that they are definitely uh, more intricate, more intricately detailed, but then again, I won't be surprised because West Philly back in the day had a lot of prominent figures, you know, wealthy figures. There's a tennis court across the street on my right hand side. That's kind of worn down though. Yeah, it looks like beat and there's graffiti. Well, there's, you know, throw ups. Throw up is a specific kind of um, art, graph art. But yeah, a couple throw ups. I see a piece. I think I see a burner. But um, yeah, so those are different terms of graffiti. Uh, yeah, West Philly back in the day, used to have prominent figures that used to live here that's why a lot of these houses are like enormous and they're more detailed than some of the spots like in north philly like look at this porch on my right hand side they and these people are smart the porch on my right hand side you see how they painted it blue with the white accent they like color coded the detail to their woodwork the one on my left hand side you see that 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 tan porch they're actually repairing it. They got woodwork being repaired and it's faded, it's peeling. It's not as well kept as the one on the right. So I'm assuming it varies from household to household. Look at the ones on my right are all painted really nicely. Look at green, red. The ones on my left, some of them are painted, but not all of them. We got the United States Postal Service um, employee in front of us in his right-hand drive vehicular device. That's that gentleman right there. Ruth Plumley Thompson. 1891 through 1976 an author of children's literature she wrote uh what she write 19 oz books wow 19 oz books from 19 it said like 1919 through 1939 something like that it says something of that nature i just have traffic behind me so i gotta keep it pushing i'm sorry guys all right we're at um Farragut and locust locust is also known as, as livingston way all right, now we're at that block that we did a little reverse from, remember? You remember, remember? We did like a little reverse because I had the OCD going on. I felt like if I would've just cut up here, then we would've been missing valuable, you know, space, so. But I ain't got nobody behind me, so I can just cruise it. 
two-way traffic ahead. So this one-way street turns into two ways, right? On the next block. We're next to the Breslin House Apartments on my left-hand side. You can visit www.breslinhouse.com. They also have handicap accessible housing for any senior citizens or disabled people that might not be able to um, live in regular housing. We're next to the 64 bus stop. Except the bus stop, the 64. Go ahead, you wanna go, man? Go ahead, I'm gonna let you go. She was out, so I figured I might as well just like give her the opportunity to go, you know? And I ain't have a lot of people behind me. Well, I ain't really got nobody behind me, so I could chill. We're on Farragut and Sampson. We got some new developments on my right-hand side. On my left-hand side, we got some older buildings. Um, Perch and, what's this called? Perch and off-campus housing on my right-hand side. That's, that's those new buildings. We got amazing beauty supplies, hair wigs, and beauty aids on my left-hand side. Look at this is the, the Sunoco. We literally just passed the other Sunoco, so. And there's a Speedway gas station over here. Whoa, they're competing with gasoline, you know? But then again, this, this strip right here gets so much traffic. Chestnut and Walnut both get so much traffic that, yeah, they're all right. We got Express a la food cart on my right-hand side. I'll be completely honest with you. I was never a big fan of a la food carts. The smell, it has a distinct smell and it kind of throws me off. It turns my stomach. Now my wife used to eat from them carts when she used to work in the heart of the city. Uh, we're passing Chestnut Street. She used to eat, I think like, something over rice i don't know but she used to eat i don't know one couple times she brought it in the vehicle and the smell just uh, and, and i've been around a lot of those cars like anytime i pass it, people are like but tune but you haven't tried this car yet or tune that car i've been past a dozen of those carts and for some apparent reason every time i drive by one it smells weird this gentleman right here is on his indigo bike <laughs> All right, guys, we can't make a left here. It says no left-hand turns. So right now, we're leaving the Walnut Hill neighborhood, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bust a U-turn. I'm going to bust a U-turn because I want to, you know, continue zigzagging. We have this huge um, Provident Mutual Life Insurance Company on my right-hand side. You see that gigantic building? Yeah, it looks like some type of government building. We're on 46 and Market. 46 is behind us. It turns right into Farragut, which is in front of us. It says no turn on red, so I can't make this turn on red. We got a smoothie cart right here. The smoothie cart, I will eat from a smoothie cart. As long as it looks sanitary and it looks like it's up to par, you know what I mean? And they're using like, I mean, there's no real way to tell if it's sanitary if you're just walking up to a cart. But that's just my OCD bugging with me. When I was young, I used to eat from like random carts. Like I see like meatball sandwiches and stuff when I was a youngster, when I was like 13 years old. But then when I got older, I started getting really self-conscious with food. And yeah, I got really picky on like who prepares my food, where do I purchase my food from? What does it smell like? What's the taste, the texture? What does it look like? You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes any sense. Maybe, maybe not. We got Children's Hospital of Philadelphia on my right-hand side. The Nicholas and Athena Carabots Pediatric Care Center on 48th and Market Street. There's a former Mills right here on my left-hand side on Market. Stretch those bills. Foreman Mills. Yeah, right there, Foreman Mills. All right, there's Foreman Mills parking lot on my right-hand side. They're making a community college in Philadelphia, another campus building right here on my left-hand side. I believe it's the Transportation and Logistics Technologies Training Center, but I could be wrong. You guys are more than welcome to chime in. We just passed Ludlow Street. We got free oil change, free car wash over here on my left-hand side. Whoa, Speedy Lube, okay. We're at Chestnut, I'm gonna slow down. We got a Toyota dealership on my right-hand side, an official Toyota, uh, automotive dealership they have used vehicles 
Toyota certified seven years, 100,000 mile warranty. Now, I'm not the hugest fan of Toyota. You already know that. I say it in all these tours. I like the old school 80s, Punto Ocho's, you know, the old Corollas, the Celicas, the old ones, though. The Toyota Supra, obviously, like, that's a classic. Um, you know, the Tacoma, a couple of them, the Corona. Yeah, yes, guys, I'm not making that up. There is actually a classic Toyota Corona. Google is it. nice. But one thing that I can't say about Toyota is that they last forever. Toyotas last forever, guys. We're passing Chestnut, the 4800 block. Yeah, to Toyotas are, are reputable, just like Honda, Nissan. You know, like those brands, they last forever. We're passing Samson. We got Walnut Court on my left-hand side. African hair braiding on my right-hand side. CH and B barbershop on my right hand side, Julissa Dominican hair salon on my right hand side. We're passing 48th and Walnut. We got a school on my left hand side. Looks like they're doing some rehabilitation. We got the Madison Apartments on my right hand side. West Philadelphia High School on my left hand side, guys. Was that that pop quiz from earlier? <laughs> West Philadelphia High School, y'all. Yeah, because we in West Philly, you know what I mean? West Philadelphia, born and raised. Go ahead, type the rest, y'all. Type the rest. What are you waiting for? Type the rest. You're supposed to notice. If you don't notice, come on. What's up, man? You didn't watch primetime television? <laughs> West Philadelphia, born and raised. On the playground is where I spend most of my days. Tell them. Tell them. Sit. Write the next lyrics. Write the next lyrics. We got Madison Apartments and Alisa on my right-hand side. One and two-bedroom apartments. Passing 48 for Locust. Shooting some b-ball outside of the school when a couple of guys who were up to no good Started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared She said you're moving with your auntie and uncle to Bel Air I whistled for a cab and when it came near the license plate said what fresh in the dice in the mirror or something <laughs> Yo, that's funny Your home's to Bel Air I pulled up to the house around 7 or 8 And I yelled to the cabbie, your home, smile you later I looked at my kingdom, I was finally there To sit on my throne at the Prince of Bel-Air Ah, Will Smith, you should hire me, dog <laughs> So, you know, that'd be crazy Could you imagine me on an episode of Fresh Prince? Like, who am I? I'm like his, his like, his, like, cousin that just swam from the border <laughs> Yo I'm Will's cousin, Poppy. Uh, I'm gonna make this right hand turn. We're on Spruce, 48th and Spruce, and we're at the border. We don't wanna go on 47th, because didn't we just do 47th? We got several businesses on my left hand side, different, you know, education centers, seafood, a bunch of other spots. We're passing um, Hanson, Quick Stop Deli, Great Taste Chinese. We got a jogger, he's jogging. He's taking advantage of the weather. Coin Laundry Mat, Minor Key. We got police officers in front of us. Minor Key Car Care Center. In memory of Bob, we miss you, bud. Wow, that is powerful. They they actually must have just lost a employee that used to probably work there. And you know how they can change the letters in their sign. You know they might they might write like um you know oil change this price blah blah blah. They took those letters and they wrote what I just said. Um, rest in peace, Bob or something something. We miss you, bud. Wow, that's heartbreaking. The Willows at Walnut Hill, apartments on my left-hand side. We got an arrow right here that's pointing to Foreman Mills. Stretch those bills. Gotta go to Moe's, gotta go to Moe's, yeah. Gotta go to Moe's, Moe's. Oh, that was a whole different co commercial. <laughs> I'm here promoting two major brands, like if they promoting me. That's a shame, right? All right, y'all, so as you can see, we're on Chancellor Street. We got the 4900 block of Chancellor to my left. We got three-story homes with porches. These look like two-story homes with like a third floor just added to the top. And all of them had a third floor. So that goes to show you. We're at 49th and Walnut Street. 49th and Walnut. We got the 49 Stop Food Market on my right-hand side. We got the 21 bus stop on my right hand side. That's where that young female is waiting at. You see her? She has her carry bags, face mask, green pants, emerald green with some, uh, what's that, like cherry oak boots with a uh, white v-neck shirt 
they're like, dang, two, you, you, you hella descriptive. <laughs> you see the dude with the two laundry bags? I guess he's about to go do laundry. I was, I was about to go and start defining the, the color strands of her hair. I was about to tell y'all her social security number, her address, her date of birth. <laughs> Passing Samson. Look at these houses. One, one thing I noticed about the Walnut Hill cribs, look at this Jeep. I like this Jeep right here. I'm a big fan of the Wrangler Jeeps, but I like that little pickup. Uh, we're passing 49th and Chestnut. We got West Philadelphia High School on my left-hand side. This is the new West Philadelphia High School. They just made that joint, what, within the last 20 years? Y'all chime in. Talk to me. Talk to me. They made that 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 15 years ago. It has to be a modern building because it looks fresh to this F. Yeah, so you got back-to-school headquarters on my right-hand side. Oh, man, it's only a right-hand turn. They drawling, son. Should we break the law here? Should we break the law? Because we want to go left. We want to zigzag. We don't want to be doing this whole... Man, we're going to have to go right, y'all. Yeah, we ain't got no choice but to go right. I think we can't have a fluid left to a right thing here. Because the way um, Market Street... We're on, we're on Market. I mean, this is still Walnut Hill. This is considered the Walnut Hill border. Market Street shares... I mean, I said Market Street. Walnut Hill shares Market Street with other neighborhoods, so... Let me see if I can bust a U-turn here. Let me hit him with the Uno reverse car. The reverses. And it, they ain't not going to like me busting this U-turn, but guess what? We on YouTube. We on the World Wide Web. I got to do it for the viewers across the world. I got to do it for the people that's watching in Dubai. I got to do it for the people that's watching in Ireland. I got to do it for the people that's watching in some little village in Kenya. I mean, I don't really know if people watching me from a little village in Kenya, but it sounded pretty cool. <laughs> it sounded professional. They're like, dang, Tune, you got people watching you from Kenya? I probably do. But I do got a, a wide, diverse um, audience. Like, it's incredible. When I look at the demographics, literally from all over the world, from all over the world, they may not always comment, but them viewers are coming from all over, which is um, quite mind-blowing. And humbling. I genuinely appreciate your support, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Hala Happy Gyro Cart on my right hand side, passing 49th and Market. Passing St. Bernard Street. Dang it, we can't make a left hand turn on 50th Street though. Man, y'all drawing. Like, we over here trying to do a YouTube video. I'm gonna make this left hand turn. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Y'all gonna make it for y'all. Two about to break the law for y'all. Oh, ah, I just put the law. Ah, y'all got me on candy chips. Like, no, but I'm not even tuned. I'm not even operating the car. My name is Juan Pepe Julito Gonzalez uh, Maricones um, con sofrito con arroz pollo. That's my name, so don't wear it out. We're passing Ludlow. Tune did not make that U turn. Matter of fact, who is Tune? Like, what is the Tune? Tune isn't even like a government name. Like, who's Tune? Seriously? What is he, a cartoon or something? What, who does this guy think he is? We're at um, Chestnut. We got the 4900 block of Chestnut on my left-hand side. We got the 5000 block of Chestnut on my right-hand side. We got a stoplight on my left-hand side. We got some racing cars on my right-hand side. We got a person beeping on my left-hand side. We got a trash can on my right-hand side. We got a pavement on my left-hand side. We got a man standing on the corner on my right-hand side. What, what, what? <laughs> Didn't that sound like some 1980s rap? I swear that's how the rap used to be. I got a cat in a hat with a bat and a mat. I stay strapped. I gotta go with the flow, maestro, nitro, like whoa. I'm about to lock your jaw, make you fall, make your car go stick to the mall for a ball. <laughs> I swear that's how rap used to be back in the day. At least it was peaceful. Now it's all like, like, like I'ma rip your stomach out of your throat and I'ma get your kids and I'ma and I'ma have your kids life revoked i'm gonna rip the teeth out your mouth and i'm gonna stash them under my couch and i'm gonna split your wig and all this and like whoa chill out like, i'm just trying to listen to music we're passing 50th and samson like this music got me fearing for my life like hold on <laughs> like dang it all right we're at 50th and walnut street listen to some hip music and then you want to go out and like start like start a war like <laughs> all right so we are currently on 50th and Walnut Street. A little known fact is Paul Robeson, a Rutgers athlete and Columbia Law graduate, Robeson won renowned 
as a singer and actor. He was a noted entrepreneur or entrepreneur of Negro spirituals. His career suffered because his political activism and he lived his last years in retirement. They're like, yo, Toon, you're brilliant. Like, how did you know that? I'm just reading off this sign that's right out here, guys. <laughs> I'm reading the sign, y'all. Y'all can tell, by the way, my reading skills sucked. I dropped out of second grade, so I ain't got much of an education, so my reading level is like really, really low. It's like negative 1.1. Passing Chancellor Street. Yeah, I dropped out of second grade. I just went on the block and I started selling Play-Doh. I had to sell Play-Doh. I had all the top Play-Doh. You know, I had the best clay. I had the blue clay. I had the cherry clay. I had the green berry clay. You already know. All right. Um, we got Monumental Baptist Church on my left-hand side. We got a Porsche that was really trying to butt itself in there. But no, nah, dog. Like, slow down. Those 600 and something horsepower, 500 and something horsepower ain't going nowhere. That's in the 5,000 block of Irving Street. We have a gentleman with his female on the left hand side. She seems to be wearing spandex jogging pants with a set of Nike jogging sneakers. Her uh, significant other seems to have pants that are, if not just as tight, tighter than hers. <laughs> his pants was tight as ever though. How you breathe? Passive family and cosmetic dentistry. Look at these houses on my right hand side. Yo, we got one with a set of shutters. They're not functional, they pump fakes. They blue 42, huh? they, they phonies, they blitz. They about to get you on a blitz, but the building looked nice. One's getting rehabilitated on my right. Look at this one on my left, it's a four story. You see that one? That big one on my left with all the shutters? Four story, but non-functional. They're more for show, you know? For show, get it? For show. Oh, look at the dog. What's up, doggy? Ruff, ruff. Subscribe, my friend. Subscribe to Tune215 and tell all the other dogs from the block that I'm, that, that, that I'm around your way, cuz. You hear me, blood? You hear me? Um, if if blood say blood, and Crips say cuz, what do Latin kings say, dude? They say like luz, like 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 lud or like vato. What do what they say? Vato, vato loco forever, Holmes, Chile. No, seriously, what they all oh, Holmes? They like Holmes. What's up, Holmes? <laughs> it's like no, I'm kidding. I do not know. Um, the Holy Apostles and Mediator Church on my left hand side. We're passing Irving Street. Two-story homes on my left, three-story homes on my right. Passing 51st and Locust. We got Philadelphia Prayer, Praise, and Worship Church Center on my left-hand side. We got an apartment building on my right-hand side. It's huge. We got a couple three-story buildings. Some of them are apartments. Some of these buildings are apartments. Passing Chancellor. Because they got tons of mailboxes, which tells me that they're an apartment. They're not a home. Yeah, because if there was homes, there'd be some pretty massive homes. I mean, if you can get your hand on one of these huge buildings and just treat it as a home, that'd be awesome. All right, so 51st Street, go figures, close. As y'all can see right in front of us, you'll kind of blow if you yawn. For me, yawn is, is contagious. I don't know if y'all yawn when y'all hear it through a recording, but I yawn. Like, if you next to me and you yawn, you gonna have, mess around and have me yawning, you know what I mean? Because it's like, I don't know, why is that? There is no um, study that proves why you know other beings yawn like i'll see a cat yawn and i'll be like yo i'll see a mouse yawn i'll be like yo. a dog will go by and yawn i'll be like yo. make this left hand turn on walnut street right 51st and walnut we got philly laundry mat on my right hand side commercial space available 4,000 16,000 square feet on my left hand side jerry's barbershop on my right hand side tina's african-american braiding on my right hand side we got several other businesses I'm doing 19 miles an hour, but I can't go any uh, slower, you know. I, we're at 52nd and Walnut. I'm going to make this left-hand turn on 52nd Street. We got several dozen businesses on my left and on my right-hand side. This is like the little shopping strip straight up to Market Street. We're passing Chancellor. This is where the locals would go, you know, pick up their, you know, basic goods. Anything from clothing to food to... <clears throat> household items you know the little gadget stores the electronic stores and stuff and there's a tax service <coughs> y'all quite parts i think i need some high quality h2o wow. we're passing 52nd and locust let me drink some of this moisturizement so i can moisturize my palate <coughs> oh, 
that was popping. I definitely needed that because I was choking. Let me clear my throat. Now. No. <laughs> Yo, y'all don't know what I'm talking about. It's only the hip hop heads that's going to understand that joke. The people who listen to country and rock and roll and, and blues and jazz. No, the blues and jazz might understand what I'm talking about. But they're going to be like, too. Like, what? Yo, another Sunoco? Yo, Sunoco got Spruce Street on Smash. Like, this whole little neighborhood. I mean, Walnut Hill. Sunoco got Walnut on Smash because they got one on Chestnut, Walnut, and Spruce. They got Mesquita Grocery on my right-hand side. Mesquita. Or you could say Mesquita. Mesquita. You know, a traditional American would say Mesquita. A Latino might say Mesquita. Mesquita. It sounds like mosquito, right? Malcolm X Park on my right hand side. We got a flatbed right here in the middle of the street. We got Church of Holy Apostles and the Mediator. All right, what I'm about to do, y'all, uh, I'm about to, you know, spruce, right? I'm gonna just keep going. I'm gonna start doing left to right. Remember how we went? We went um, north to, to south. Yeah, we're, we're gonna start um, going west to east. Because when we started the tour, we went up and down. North to south. We're, we're gonna go west to east now, which is left and right. We got Balua Baptist Church on my left hand side. Got a daycare center. Grieving Grief Support Group. Balua's Comfort Ministry meets every Thursday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. All right, guys, give me a break. I'm reading a church sign. Dang it. Passing 50th and Spruce. We're passing St. Bernard Street. I'm sorry, guys. I'm doing a whopping 21 miles per hour because the little Mitsubishi, I don't know, behind me is beeping. We're at 49th and Sprucey Goose. We gotta go down to 45th and then we can start doing our left to right. Yeah, this is that spot on the right that had the Rest in Peace Memorial on the minor key. The Rest in Peace um, sentence. I'm gonna read it again because it was heartbreaking. It was, it was, it was heartwarming. Um, in memory of Bob, we miss you, bud. Bob, your co-workers must have really loved you, buddy, because they kept your name alive by keeping up on that Midas sign. Salute. Passing Hanson. Acu Pizza, J, J Variety Store, and several others. We're next to the 42 bus stop. We got Baltimore Crab and Seafood on my right-hand side for all you crab and seafood fanatics across the World Wide Web. Passing 48th and Spruce. 48th and Spruce, ladies and gentlemen. We got the, what's this, a wholesale or retail clothing? <laughs> my bad, I was yawning. Garden Court, Community and Tenants, Garden Facilities on my right. Yeah, there was a wholesale clothing spot over there. Passing 47th Street. 47th Spruce. These houses right here are are big. Yeah, they are definitely big. All right, we're passing 46th Street. I'm sorry, guys, I got a car behind me. He's going like, I don't know. I'm, I'm doing 25, he's doing 27. <laughs> he's doing two miles faster than me because he's about to go through me. Uh, look at this house right here on my left. Hey, got those Switzerland inspired cone tops. See it? See right there on the corner, you see them cone tops? What were those cone chips that we used to eat when we were kids? It was like a cone, was it? Well, it was not called Funyuns. Uh, Funyuns are, are onion rings. They were like cones. I don't know if anybody remembers, what was the name of those cone chips? They were like a nacho cheese, but they came up, but they looked like a freaking dunce cap. Like it's like a, like a, like a cone. I, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it. I can't think of it right this second, but I used to eat them. All right, we're gonna make this left right here. Oh, go ahead. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. All right, now at the corner, we'll make a left and keep zigzagging the opposite way. We're only doing 16 miles per hour. Slow it down, tune. Slow it down. All right, we're doing five miles per hour. Five fabulous and spectacular miles per hour. Upstairs, 
Abyssinia. As what? How you say that? It's an Ethiopian restaurant. Abyssinia. Abyssinia. There you go. Abyssinia. Y'all gotta give me a break. I'm. I told you I dropped out of second grade. So, you know. <laughs> like, tune. Did you really drop out of second grade? <laughs> Yeah, dog. That's how I passed my driver's license in the first try. I passed my my I'm passing Melville Street. I passed my motorcycle test the first try because I'm illiterate, but I just magically passed tests the first try. <laughs> passing 46 and Locus. I know people who took their driver's license permit like eight, nine times. Yeah, back to back. Like some people fill up. I think they give you like 16 slots, eight and eight. And if you fill up all 16, then you got to go back again. Yeah, it's like wow, that's crazy. But I know some people get they they feel pressure when they take a test. They feel pressure, so sometimes it messes them up. But I was fortunate enough to pass both in the very first um, attempt, passing Farragut. Yeah, the driver's license permit when I was 15 and a half, the motorcycle permit um, in my 20s, passing 47th Street. I had to go for the motorcycle permit twice though not that i failed it um i let it expire the one from my 20s i let it expire <laughs> i let it expire because you're supposed to take the test within a year and i let it expire i passed that first time and then when i went and took it again because i had to do because even though you had it and you let it expire they don't just give it to you again you have to retake the the learner's permit again and i passed it the second time again first try this time I will not let that one expire. <laughs> Yo, we on 48th and Locust. The other day, somebody said something funny. It was like, um, Tune, thank you very much. This tour was very entertaining. You must have been in a good mood today. No, I'm always in a good mood. We got California tags on my left hand side. It's just that sometimes I have to tone it down a notch because too many giggles touch, touch the wrong fanny touch the wrong rear end it tickles people the wrong way and some people don't like to hear me laugh i guess they don't like to see you joyful or passing hansen but you're not gonna rob me of my joy you're not gonna rob me of my glory so if i feel like laughing and i feel like laughing the weather's beautiful it's bootyful you know what i mean the weather is awesome so i want to enjoy myself do you mind we're at 49th and locust yeah so you know but i do my best to like tone them down you know let's say if i have seven days a week seven tours a week right I'll make like, you know, three of them like really sporadic and entertaining, you know, a little goofy. We're passing St. Bernard Street, 200 South. And then maybe the other two or three or whatever, whatever the mathematical equation is. I might make those more serious, like majority serious. But it's hard, you know, because if I want to laugh or if I want to joke, or if I want to say something funny, I want to say something funny. We're at 50th and, and Locust. And it might not be funny to you because I got a strange sense of humor, but it'd be funny to me. And when you hear my little Chucky laugh after, I'm like, <laughs> When you hear my Chucky laugh, that's because I found it funny. And guess what? If I laugh, that's all that matters. Because right now, I'm the only one in this vehicular device talking to myself. So if people look at me from outside and they see me talking to myself, they're like, yo, what's up with that dude? That, that dude needs SSI. That dude should seek help. I am seeking help. I'm seeking help from the YouTuber family, from the World Wide Web. We are currently at 51st and Locust Street. On my right-hand side, we have Philadelphia Prayer, Praise, and Worship Center Church Incorporated. On my left hand side, we have a series of two story row homes. On my right hand side, we have a box truck that contain graffiti. On my left hand side, we have a two story home with two double decker porches. All right, we're gonna make this right hand turn right here on 52nd Street, 52nd and Locust. This is the border. Look at that building right there, it's called the Locust. You see right there on my right hand side? Was that a theater back in the day? Kind of OG? either an original gangster or an older gentleman <laughs> that's funny can somebody who's familiar with this neighborhood um from like a 50 60 70 year ago perspective i'm not talking about the 20 30 year old youngsters i'm talking about somebody who was here in the 60s and in the, in the 70s was 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 that a theater because it looked like a theater we're making this right on chancellor yeah it, yeah it looks like a theater so we got a house for sale on my right hand side 5148 chancellor 
we're doing six miles an hour guys now i'm going to tone it down i'm going to take it down to five this is this is five miles an hour just in case if you guys were just wondering yeah but it looked like a like a theater eight limbs academy muay thai and strength what is that muay thai is that like some type of martial art it's said muay thai and strength so i'm assuming it has something to do with getting physically equipped this gentleman must not have watched the weather forecast today because he has that really thick bubble cat coat that is too hot bro yeah that was that was a little thick but then again it's different people he might still feel cold because i feel warm might not mean that he feel warm so i understand we're passing the 5,000 block of Chancellor. Yeah, because my homie, my best friend that passed away, we're, we got Ohio tags on my right. He used to hate the cold. I used to love the cold. So, he, so like, when I was outside in a t-shirt, he's like, nah, dog, it's it, it's still too cold. <laughs> he used to come out with, like, a sweater. Like, nah, dog, that's because you a polar bear. I said, well, you need to be in the tropics, buddy. You need to be in, like, that's why he he loved Florida. He had left to Florida for, like, like three, four, four years. And he he would come back to Philly and like visit because when he was going to college over there at Full Full Sail University, but he loved the sun. I on the other hand dislike the sun. Maryland tags on my left. I dislike the sun personally. I mean I like the sun to an extent. Like I we like we talked about this before. Like I can do 80s. Like once you get to like 90s, and if it's 80s, it can't be humid because humidity is what really hurts me. Like I sweat just standing still. Like I breathe the wrong way and I start sweating. If I blink too much, I start sweating. Like, I'm gonna be doing these tours and, and yo, who's boss? The tags on my right, the Lexus says, who's boss? <laughs> clever, buddy, clever. But yeah, look at these houses. Three stories on my right, three stories on my left. They're, they're like two and a half stories because the third story is an attic. We got an open lot on my left hand side. Ah, uh, they got a zoning per permit. Zoning notice. I can't see, it's in the super duper microscopic smallest print of a lifetime. I need a magnifying glass. Quick, somebody mail me a telescope so I can read this real quick and then give you the guys the information. Uh, I can't see, I'm squinting super duper hard. And I usually got bionic um, surreal vision. Like I got like, a I got two mechanical, oh, that's free, that's free right there, that's free, free. If it's free, it's for me. And yeah, there's a little surround sound system right out there for like a computer, but it's cool. I already got one. I'm, I'm gonna leave that there for somebody who actually can utilize it rather than you know taking it there's like a box of free um electronics that's nice that somebody from from the neighborhood um thanks for letting me go bro um that's nice that somebody from the neighborhood left that there so people can actually utilize it you know what i mean rather than throw it away 49th i went 49th let's go right and try to come back down because i want to take y'all down see how the how that block right there closed off and kind of messed up my oh this is a one way <laughs> i was about to go up a one way it was about to be a whole accident but um this neighborhood right here is about less than 10 minutes away from center city philadelphia like right here where i'm parked at i'm not parked but right here i can see the philadelphia skyline clean as day i can see university city buildings i can see center city buildings i can see it all from right here the comcast center and everything it's a nice view so if you're located in this neighborhood know that you're in walking distance of center city or if you're in a bicycle you can cycle to center city with ease all right guys i'm sorry that i had to come back down this block because y'all seen that everything got discombobulated we're passing samson street so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a right on Chestnut, right? We got the West Philadelphia High School on my left. I'm gonna make this right. We got Paul Bros Auto Body on my right hand side. I'm gonna make this right. We got a U-Haul storage facility. Is it a storage facility? Okay, no, this one isn't. They got a U-Haul rental center. Sometimes it'd be like storage and rental. We got that Toyota dealership on my right hand side. I think this is a used, oh, this is a used Toyota dealership. So they only specialize in used vehicles. Okay, okay, I understand. I understand, sir. Nothing wrong with used vehicles. Used is where it's at. There's a bench right here that reads, Welcome to Walnut Hill. I'm going to make this right-hand turn on 48th Street. Ouch, ouch. 
that hurt. We're gonna go down two blocks and then make a left and continue to where we was at. We got Magic Smoothies food truck on my right hand side. That's what we just passed. I'm doing 20 miles an hour, y'all. Speed limit's 25. Everybody behind me wants to drive 45, so. Bear with me, please. We are currently on 48th and Walnut Street. We are traveling southbound. On my left hand side, we have the original West Philadelphia High School. On my right hand side, we have Madison Apartments. We are now proceeding to travel southbound. Traveling southbound down 48th Street. On my right hand side, we have the 64 SEPTA bus. On my left hand side, we have a Genie S80 lifting up device thingy majiggy. <laughs> They're like, tune, you had it. Yo, I could have made a left there. Dope. I feel like Homer Simpson, right? Dope. I could have made a left there, but I did it. I did it. I did it. I'm a failure. I'm a failure to society. You know what I'm going to do? I'll bust a U-turn here. Go ahead, buddy. You like kind of close behind me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, man. I did this to myself. I'm going to have to do some magical reversing here or some U-turn and... Or some reverse and you turn and say no. <laughs> That'd be crazy, right? I think I could. Ooh, I was about to do it if, if this traffic in front of me wouldn't have went because I could straight up bust a reverse and you turning. Y'all don't believe me. Y'all don't believe that I can make this turn in a reverse, do you? You don't believe me. I, I can see it in your comments. I can see it. Guess what? We are about to reverse and you turn because y'all don't believe that I can do it. But y'all forgetting that my name is Toonie Magoonie. Toonie Goonie. Toonie. Hey, chill. I'm doing a reverse, y'all. Y'all gonna have to be patient. I'm on YouTube. And I gotta, um, you know, show the World Wide Web that Toonie Magoonie does dumb stuff like that on the road. <laughs> Somebody thumbs down the video just for that. They're like, you jerk off. But it's cool, you know? Because I want to do make this... I want to make this disclaimer for you guys. We're on 48th and Locust. That's not the disclaimer, but this is the disclaimer. If you want to donate $1 to my channel, feel free to click a thumbs up. A thumbs up is equivalent to $1. If you want to donate $1,000 to my channel, feel free to donate a thumbs down. A thumbs down is equivalent to $1,000. You got me? So that's how YouTube works it out, you know? They actually pay people for thumbs down. They pay people more for thumbs down. That's the reverse psychological effect that I'm having on your mind right now. That's the trick. For every thumbs down, I'm getting moolah, baby. So now then all my 80 original viewers can be like, what tune? For real? Thumbs down, I'm gonna have 80 thumbs down. I'm like, nope. All right, we all keep on going straight. Gotta watch it here. No, but all engagement is great engagement. So I genuinely appreciate it. You guys are entitled to your own opinion. This is America, you know? Where you have um, free free will, free speech, free free talk, and all that stuff, stuff, stuff. Passing Farragut and Locust. Wow. She had like four inch. Whoa, whoa, what I ran over. She had like four inch heels. Like the, I mean, the whole shoe, the sole was four inches thick. You know, that Camaro had a stupid aftermarket wing. Like, why did he do that to his Camaro? We're on 46 and Locust. Does he want his Camaro to fly away? We got La Gioconda, apartments for rent. Or you can say in American um, accent, Gioconda. Gioconda. Gioconda? Melville Street. I don't even think I took y'all down Melville, did I? I don't think so. If we was going southbound, northbound. I don't think we took y'all down. No, but we're going westbound, eastbound now. Right now, we're currently traveling eastbound. I'm going to make this left-hand turn on 45th and Locust. 45th is the border. Y'all remember as as Beastna? Yo, we literally just went through here, too, because I remember as Beastna. Remember that Ethiopian restaurant? There's several Ethiopian restaurants here on this corner. There's another one right there. Meskarum. Yeah, Meskarum. So if you guys are into Ethiopian food, things of that nature... You might want to come down to the strip because all these businesses right here 
Uh, definitely foreign, but like style business. I love right here on my right. Manakish. Yeah, the seven other business on 45th and Walnut, guys. Oh, this is where that little stop sign is at. All right, I'm going to make this left. This, this, this blinking red light, which is equivalent to a stop sign. Thank you very much, man. We got Mercy Douglas residencies on my right hand side. We got three story buildings on my left hand side. Passing the 200 block of Melville. We got three bedroom apartments on my left hand side at 4524 Walnut Street. Look at these buildings on my left. Look at the, the stone. It's like you're living in a castle. We're passing 46 and Walnut. This is a whole nother Sunoco. Yo, Sunoco, you getting a plug on this tour, bro. Sunoco, I need one of the big execs from Sunoco to contact me with like a year worth of free gas. What? That would be crazy. You know, I'm out. I'm driving to China. Say no. <laughs> like, too, and how is that possible? Hey, yo, Tessa, contact me for that for that electric. Let me be the first to, to test try that electric um, hover car. Passing Florida. I said Florida. Passing Florida tags. <laughs> one and Farragut. No, nah, but yo, Tesla, hot, hot, hot at your boy Tune. You know why? Because my name is Tune. And T is for Tune. It ain't for Tesla. We're passing 47 and Walnut. And when y'all develop that, remember, I planted the seed first. When y'all develop that electric car that can drive on water, you better give me several life rafts and stuff like that. Yeah, and I'm going to avoid the Bermuda Triangle. Just make sure you hook Tune up first. Passing 48th and Walnut. I'm going 21 miles an hour, guys. The speed limit here is 30 miles per hour. You guys want to see what 30 looks like? We're passing Hanson. Let's do 30. This is 30. This is 30. This is the speed limit, but up there, they're doing way more than 30. We're passing 49th and Walnut, but I'm doing exactly 30. But you guys can't really take much in, right? So let me, like, slow it down some. Slow it down just a little bit. You know what I mean? Now I'm doing 20. You feel me? Right? You You feel me, right? You, you feel me? They like, nah, tune, nah, tune. We don't, we don't feel you. Passing 50th and Walnut Street. Look at these houses on my right hand side. There's a lot of them that's by the same um, company. Are these rental? Green Zhang. Green Zhang owns several of these buildings. Is it leasing or is it for sale? I can't see. Dude, they got the most microscopic font in this neighborhood. Like, what do they expect you to like have? Bionic eyes? <clears throat> tune, I got bionic eyes, but still. Passing 51st and Walnut. My wife be hating. She be like, but you can see father because you got those super powerful superhero eyes, honey. <laughs> no, she don't say honey. She don't add all that. She just be swearing that I can see farther than her because, yo, what's up with that jackhammering, bro? Did I say you could jackhammer? Can can you pause that for, for a second? They're like, but tune, shut up. We want to hear the jackhammering. All right. Now that I shut up, now they don't want to jackhammer. Man, what's up with that? What's happening? What's happening? We're passing 52nd and Walnut. We're going to make this right down 52nd. All right. Pop quiz. Movie quiz. Where is this line from? Comment that in the comment section. What's happening? What's happening? You got to comment that. I already know what movie it's from, but you got to tell me what movie is it from. What's happening? Remember that. Not everybody's going to know that answer, but the chosen few will know the answer. Passing the Lucian E. Blackwell, West Philadelphia Regional um, Free Library Branch. Yeah, there's a library right there. We're passing McDonald's. This is their little business strip right here. Rest in peace to the homie. South Philly Row. He used to lead us all the time. Really right through here, right on the Market Street. We're at 52nd and Chestnut. Now I can make a right and go down Chestnut, or I can go straight and take y'all down Market. I've taken y'all down Market on several occasions. So if y'all want to see Market, y'all can watch one of my other videos when I went down there. I'm probably just going to go right, right here on Chestnut. Because we're more focused on the residential than the commercial. Right up there is the commercial district. Meaning they have a lot of businesses and stuff, but yeah. We got Jackson Hewitt Tax Service on my left, Fine Line Meat Market on my left, two food carts on my right, a Bats Auto Tag Notary Service on my left, Philadelphia and Penna Fire Protection Company Inc., Discovering Mines Early Learning Center on my left, and more. 
We got Fortune F. Harris Funeral Home on my right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm disappointed and sad to inform you that you ain't gotta go, but you gotta get the off out. It's like, no, no, you ain't, you ain't gotta get out, but um, that's the end of the tour, guys. But yo, that was a joke from MTV Cribs. Come on, man. Like, are you not familiar with pop culture? No, I'm kidding, but yeah, guys. Unfortunately, this is the end of the tour. I wanna say thank you for watching. We covered as much of the Walnut Hill neighborhood as we could within one hour. I think we did a majority of it with the exception of a few blocks. But yeah, I want to say thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your support. Hope everyone has a blessed, magnificent, and enchanted day. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section and show some love. This is your homeboy, Mr. Tune. Tune 215. Tune Dollars. Tune Ski. Tunism. Tune One. Bad Tune. Tuner. Tunage. Super Tune. Tuny Califragilistic Expialidocious. And I'm tuning out.